location that is is located in etc mail and its primary config file sendmail.cf is created from sendmail.mc this file contains macros which get expanded using the m4 macro program to appropriate sendmail lingo and in here you will find where sendmail actually binds to the loopback adapter and you can either comment that line out or change it to the address. Here daemon options is set to address 127.001. You can either set this to all zeros or comment this line out altogether and restart sendmail. So nano sendmail mc will find 127.001 and for this line again you can comment it out and it tells you here it only listens to the loopback address remove it if you wanted to accept messages from the intranet or the internet or you could set it to all zeros that's an option that means to listen to all IP addresses or you can comment it out altogether as follows either or will cause send mail to listen to all IPs. Now, one of the neat things of using, or features of using SendMail within Red Hat Enterprise or Red Hat altogether, even as far back as version 9, is that when you restart the SendMail server or service, it recompiles a new SendMail.cf based on the SendMail.mc, which means we can simply make changes to the MC files and have the changes affected rather quickly. Now, of course, we will use service send mail restart to restart the server. But before doing so, we just want to point out one other thing, and that is there's a required package in order to be able to recompile send mail items. It's send mail cf. This package must be installed on your Red Hat Enterprise box in order for you to update the resultant sendmail.cf file by using either the make process or restart. Now using the make process you'd execute make all etc mail with the C option. And if there's nothing to be done because we restarted the server and it already has the appropriate sendmail cf package installed, that's this package here, sendmail-cf, then there'll be nothing for it to do. So then you simply restart the server and that's it. So there's the sendmail cf for 8.13 it will kill the search and then just restart sendmail once more and then execute netstat ntlp grep25 and now it's listening to all IPs which means it can communicate out on the wire so let's just note if it fails configure MTN to listen to out IP by doing the following update etc mail send mail dot mc you'll see the option which binds to the loopback adapter and then execute make all after you've completed upper C T C mail and then restart the service using service send mail restart and we should just note ensure that send mail cf star package is installed in order to update .mc files to .cf files in this case file because it is it will indicate files it is monolithic but nonetheless most of the settings are spread across one or two files so let's attempt to send mail again using MUT for my local system new message root at Linux CVT serve one or for that is from Linux CVT serve one internal this will propel us into after we indicate testing routed mail without MX and now we're in VI insert testing without MX save the changes Y to launch the mail now before we consult the remote systems MUT let's consult the local systems mail log tail var log mail log we should see that the message was sent relative to our current time which is 1446 was sent at 1445 by send mail PID 23409 
to root out LuxCBT serve four dot LuxCBT dot internal. This is the sender's address. The delay was none because it was sent across the LAN. And the relay that was used was Linux CBT serve 4 Linux CBT internal, which translates to 192.168.75.199. The message was sent OK, which means on the remote system, we should be able to launch MUT. And before we do so, let's just LSLTR var spoon mail. We should see that root has a mailbox which has grown roughly at 14.45 or later. And we can compare it to the current time, which is only a little over a minute after, and then MUT will reveal the message from that user, and there it is. So we can use the message, we can reply to it, and we'll end up back on the remote system. We'll reply, insert, got it. Shift colon WQ, Y to send, and it'll be gone to the remote system momentarily. Now notice, mail delivery, this through an error, it could not find the target system. Linux CVT serve 1. Why is that? Let's return to the shell on Linux CVT serve 4 and ping C3 Linux CVT serve 1 to see what it thinks about it. Doesn't know. Let's try the FQDN. Still doesn't know. That's because hostname resolution isn't properly configured. So with that said, and if we were to dig at 192.168.75.199 Linux CVT serve 1 Linux CVT dot internal it comes back with no answer. So with that said, if we place an entry into ETC hosts for the hosts, 192.168.75.10 for Linux CBT serve one Linux CBT dot internal, and a short name of Linux CBT serve one, and then attempt to reset and send the message using mutt, new message off to root at Linux CBT serve one Linux CBT. In fact, we can just change the current message or reply to the original message. We've deleted it, so we'll create a new message off to root at Linux CBT serve one internal testing without MX. We'll insert test without MX. Y to send. We'll quit and then check mail queue using mail queue. It's empty. Then we'll tell var log mail log to see the status of the message as it was sent. And we'll see to root at Linux CBT serve 4 delivered to mailbox. And now we relaunch MUT on our local system and an undelivered shows up because again it did not use the name resolution. So it's still unable to find Linux CBT serve 1. We have to fix the DNS issue. It did a lookup, did not find it, and it says the name service error yielded the inability to find the host, but that's fine. It just proves how important a properly configured main resolution environment is. Now back to the issue of sending from Linux CBT Serve 1 to the domain using the setup that we have in place. When we dig from this system, the domain Linux CBT dot internal MX, it comes back with 199. That's this host. Which means if we launch MUT and send a message to let's say root at Linux CBT dot internal, the remote system will receive it. Testing mail with MX. This will use DNS and MX record to help deliver the mail. Let's save the changes, send it, quit, tail var log mail log. And as you can see, the message was sent to Linux CBT Serve 4, which means mail queue should be empty, and it is. Back over on Serve 4, when we launch MUT, there's the message from the host, and it was originally sent to root at Linux CBT internal, and it was delivered to the appropriate user. So we've got MX records working at this particular stage. The only issue we have not resolved, which is not a big deal on Linux CBT Serve 1, is its ability to use DNS to look up Linux CBT serve one dot Linux CBT internal, but that's a small issue. It's minute. Configure your DNS appropriately. Ensure that the local system can access the appropriate view, or restart the Postfix instance so that it uses ETC hosts and the message will be delivered in that particular case. But the ideal situation is to make sure that DNS is set up properly.